Ken, you just get some rest. We'll go over these contracts a little later. Okay, Mr. Evans. It's been a long trip and you're tired. You don't like to be away from the family. You're wondering if your wife made it home safely from the airport. Why not give her a call? You'll feel better, and so will she. Hello? Hi, honey. Yeah, we're all right. How's your flight? Oh, the trip was fine, honey. No, nothing important. Just checking on you and the kids. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Bye-bye. You know, your loved ones are only seconds away. And a long-distance call will let them know you love them and that you're thinking of them. Granny! Hi, it's me, Kenny! Poopy! Yes, that's right, how are you? What about your sister in Florida? Was that the flu she had last month or something more? Hi, sis. Are you okay? Oh, no, no, no. It just felt like calling. And your Uncle Leo. How's that bad heart of his? I hope it's not too late. Operator, what do you mean you can't get through? The man has a bad heart! And your wife. I hope things are still okay there. Honey, me again. Everything's still okay? Look, I'll have to call you back. And when was the last time you talked to your cousin Phil in Detroit? Phil! Kenny! <laughs> Kenny! And Art Fisher. He was your closest friend in high school. Why did he move? Well, Ken, all rested up. I thought we'd have a little supper, and then we'll go over those... Will you leave me alone? Can't you see I'm on the phone? This is family! Long distance. Yes! Bringing you and your loved ones together. Who are you? We're your phone company, giving you a chance to show you care and a chance to share your money with us. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring John Candy. Joe Flaherty. Eugene Levy. Andrea Martin. Catherine O'Hara Martin Short And Dave Thomas Television like you've never seen it before This is the SCTV Television Network celebrities from across the nation and around the globe here at the SCTV studios to honor themselves and television and films with us tonight are President and Mrs. Regan, Richard Harris, Jack Klugman, Elizabeth Taylor, Henry the Fonz Winkler, Michelle and Bob Phillips, Lola Heatherton and Dr. Tom. The Needles, Bill and Honey. And Edith Brickley and Pierre Trudeau. And here to begin our show, the fabulous Jewel Hallmeyer dancers. Let's give a hearty welcome to the luscious, 
Miss Lola Heatherton. Next. And the resilient Lorna Minnelli. Too nice. Gonna give some what? We're well, gonna give some awards out tonight on our show. We're going to give some singing. Yes, and sing, you know. Too nice. Was it? No, was it me? No way. Oh, I didn't think so. You think it was me, don't you? No, I didn't say that. Well, it wasn't me who sang off. Well, it wasn't me either. I didn't say it was you. Good, because it wasn't. It wasn't me neither. No. Oh, wow, one of us really sang off. I know, it really sounded awful. Well, you sounded great, Lorna. So did you, Lola. I love you, Lorna. I love you, too. <laughs> the People Global Golden Choice Awards will be right back. And to you, Cindy Arnold, take this man, Peter P. <laughs> this is my last name, isn't it? And he wants me to change my name to his. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Leon Lipschitz, here to tell you, don't let a rotten name spoil a perfectly good life. I have an appointment to see Mr. Lipschitz. Would you tell him that Jesse is here? Yes, I will, Mr. Pussman. Uh, that's uh, Pussman. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Mr. Pussman. Hi, I'm Leon Lipschitz. Here at Lipschitz and Lipschitz, no frills name change attorneys. We change your name legally with dignity and discretion. Any calls, Brenda? Yes, from Mr. David Herpes, a lowest denominator, and Adolf Bad Sex returns your call. He's too young, you know, to have his name changed, man. Come on, man. Oh. You know, I think what Moonshadow's trying to say... Mother, do you mind if I speak for myself? Go right here, dear. I've been accepted at the Harvard Business School, and I have no intention to matriculate with the name... For sure, man. I know, I know. Look, we made a mistake, okay, man? We got the idea from Gracie Slick in the 60s. It's a bummer, I know, man! Hi. I'm Leon Lipschitz. Legally changing your name can be a hassle and cost tons of money to boot. One hundred dollars, two, three, four hundred dollars. But at Lipschitz and Lipschitz, you can pretend you're just off the boat with a foreign name for $49.95. And no one will call you on that. Or if you prefer a single syllable domestic American name, such as Smith or Jones, $129.95. And for $299.95, our Prestige 400 series will give you a high-class moniker like the descendants of the Mayflower. But whichever you choose, remember, at Lipschitz and Lipschitz, the first letter always comes free. Rose by any other name? Not hardly in our books. Welcome back to the People's Global Golden Choice Awards. And now, owner and president of SCTV, Mr. Guy Caballero. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Anyway. Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We here at SCTV are proud to have copped the rights to this prestigious event. Yes, this is the first of the annual American People's Global Golden Choice Awards. But it won't be the last because you people seem to have an endless capacity for these programs. <laughs> In fact, a lot of you are saying that uh, we're polluting the airways with these shows. 
Well, let James Watt do something about that, right, Mr. President? <laughs> James Watt joke. I, I always like those. <laughs> well, now, here to tell you how the balloting is done is the chairman of the board of the National Midnight Star and the president of the Academy, Dr. Raul Withers. Good evening. I'm pleased as punch uh, to have been asked to explain the balloting procedures for these magnificent awards. Now, I know you're probably uh, asking yourselves, well, how the heck does it work anyways? Well, I wish I could say it's easy, but it ain't. Oh, I know you're thinking to yourself, well, is this stud going to stand here for half an hour and blab on about some rules? Pretty bland fare, huh? So I says to myself, doctor, how are you going to make this balloting speech informative as well as being entertaining? So I sits down and, well, here's what I come... Take that in, Dave. Let's get out of here. here. Here's what I comes up with. In the February issue of the Midnight Star, our readers found the ballot on page four. We listed all the necessary categories. Actors, directors, exciting story. What you did is mark an X beside your favorite pit. You dropped it in an envelope and give it a lick. We figured all the winners right down to the man. We'll announce them all tonight. Now, ain't that grand? Yeah. Yeah, well, listen, guy, if it's the money, you know, I don't mind doing this for scale. Well, well, it's not that, Bob. Uh, it's just that there's no place for you in the program. Are you saying there's no place for me in the program? Well, well no, no. All I, all I mean is, uh, you see, Bob, we just can't uh, slot you in. Yeah, all right. Fine, fine. If that's the way it's going to be, then that's the way it's going to be. I just hope one thing, Mr. Camillero. I just hope this award show turns out the way you want it to, because I don't think it will. Understand? Hi, how you doing? I'm not a doctor, but I have some pretty interesting news for you. Clinical surgical instruments. That's right. Chrome and stainless steel devices forged by master craftsmen into precision tools. Remarkable and unusual in their design. And now available to you, the public. Yes, you can purchase these unusual, sometimes shocking metallic curios. How would you like to have one of these decorating your living room coffee table? I mean, either you get comfortable around this thing or you just have to get out. What a conversation piece. Or how about this one, ladies? <laughs> There's no guesswork here. And because of its serrated edge, you may want to use it as a cheese grater, but you you don't have to. <laughs> Why not just put it on display? And look, <laughs> here's one for the kids that feels just like the real thing. Now, how much would you expect to pay for this? A lot of money, right? Wrong. You got a set of three clinical surgical instruments. That's right, the three of our choice for just $39.99. That's right, $39.99. And best of all, you don't have to fret over selection. We do it all for you because we're the experts. So send your $39.99 today. We're so sure you'll be satisfied that we'll bet you $5 off your next purchase of clinical surgical instruments. That's right, a $5 saving before you spend any money at all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some pretty heavy work to do. Goodbye. Welcome back, and here to present our first award, the star of Happy Days, Anson Williams, and SCTV tour guide, Maureen Wallace. You know, the TV talk show is more popular than ever before, and there's a good reason for it, huh, Maureen? That's right, Anson. It's because people want to communicate. And what better means of communication than the television? This is live television, ladies and gentlemen, where anything can happen. You know, it is important to hear what people have to say. And what better forum than the TV talk show? Throughout the golden years of television, there have... <laughs> it takes a lot of manpower to mount a production such as this. But there's a time and place for everything. 
Not to mention John Davidson. <laughs> and you know what the irony is, Maureen? I guess I may as well just read the nominees. You have to encourage me. For best TV talk show, the nominees are The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, <laughs> Frederick de Cordova, producer, The Phil Donahue Show, starring Phil Donahue, Patricia McMillan, producer, and The Sammy Maudlin Show, starring Sammy Maudlin, no producer. And the winner is. Sammy Maudlin, no producer. This is what it's all about for a cat like me. This. I just. <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh, listen to me balling. <laughs> Look, I want to thank a lot of people for this thing. A lot of people are responsible, but. I don't want to waste your time with a lot of names, so good night, everybody! <laughs> good night! Just go to the washroom and, and dry yourself off, okay? Right. All right. And don't take too long. Right, right. It's that way. Oh, great. Where are all the egg rolls? Want to know where they are? They're in her purse. That's a dirty lie. Yeah? There's ribs in there, too, isn't there? Well, I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, no, really? Come on, show us your purse. No! Come on, show everybody. No! Show everybody what you're no! no! Look at this. Feed an army with that. Nothing in your purse, huh? Come on, let's go. Put that back. Give me that. Please. I didn't take it. Please, that's Look at that. that Come on. Move. <laughs> Special effects. I wonder who's going to win that award. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor and Johnny LaRue. And now the nominees for Best Special Effects. Dragons, Dragon Slayer, a Barwood Robbins production, Paramount Pictures. Dennis, Denny, Denny, Denise, no, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, Mer, Dennis Mern, Phil Tippett, Ken Ralston, and Brian Johnson. Ladies of the Lost Ark, a Lucasfilm production, Paramount Pictures. Richard Allen, Kit West, Bruce Nicholson, and Joe Johnson. Zonta. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Zonta, the, Zonta, the glowing cabbage effect. Effect by Dave Prock, SCTV Productions. Executive producers, Nick Rye and Garth Wilson.
William Wilson. 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 <laughs> Get me the FBI. <coughs> hi, hi, hi. Oh. Hello? Yeah, I know it's a local call. Just make it, make it collect. They'll accept the charges. This is an emergency operator. Yeah, hello? Is Eddie Hoover there? Oh, geez, I forgot. Yeah, well, I'll talk to anybody then. Hello? Yeah, never mind who this is. Just call me Deep No. Yeah, listen, I got some news for you. There's something fishy going on at this Golden People's... Pro I can't remember the name of the award show. Anyway, you get some of your boys over here right away, will you? Yeah, there's big trouble. I really turned into a rat, haven't I? <laughs> As the People's Global Golden Choice Awards continue, the five neat guys salute the year's top movie themes. Absence of malice. What is an award? Richard Harris a gives a moving a tribute. Gold, marble and glass. No. An award is much more than that. Hello, Jeff Glassman. And more celebrities oh, take the stage to present the remaining People's Global Golden Choice Awards.